Hey guys, what's up? So just a quick rundown on the item changes in this update. I'm going to show you the old and new version so that you'd know if it still works for your build. Hassas Clause The unique passive of the new version is easier to trigger and its life still is higher. Good news for Hassas Claw users. Golden Staff They lowered the attack speed by 15% but added a new feature where you get 100% attack speed every 3 attacks. This is a buff for Golden Staff users. Sea Halberd Lower physical attack by 10 points but in exchange, the life drain effect can now be triggered by basic attack and skills. Skill-based heroes can now equip this like Exborg and Lancelot. And they removed its recipe item, Deadly Blade. Rose Gold Meteor Its unique passive will now give extra magic defense for the duration of its shield. It's a buff for this item. Hunter Strike Shorter cooldown and higher burst movement speed from its unique passive. Great news for Granger users. Wind of Nature Slight adjustment on its stats. Lower lifesteal and attack speed but higher damage. I don't think you'd notice this one since its unique passive is what we're after. Corrosion Sight The slow effect is no longer based on chance. Each attack will now slow the enemy by 8% and it can stock up to 5 times. So at max stacks, it will have a stronger slow effect. Blade of the Heptasis Lower damage on its unique passive but in exchange, they added a 40% slow effect that lasts for 1.5 seconds. So it now has a slow effect but its damage is nerfed. Malefic Roar They removed the penetration on a tower's defense and they replaced it with more physical penetration that's based on the enemy's defense. It's a buff if you're against high physical defense heroes. Now let's move on to the magic department. Enchanted Talisman They added a new feature where it can increase your maximum cooldown reduction to 45%. Normal hit is 40% but if you equip this, it can go as high as 45%. Blood Wings They removed the feature where you get extra HP from every magic power. It will now give you shield that is based on your magic power stats. And it has a 30 second cooldown. Genius Wand They lowered its magic penetration by 3 points. All stats remain the same. Fleeting Time They added plus 350 mana. It's a good pair for Lightning Truncheon. Necklace of Durance Same effect as Sea Halberd. Life Drain can now be triggered by both basic attack and skill damage. Divine Leaf They changed its old unique passive where it can give up to 70% magic penetration. Now its penetration will be increased based on the enemy's magic defense. It's a nerf but it's a well-deserved one because 70% magic penetration is just too much. Arcane Boots Lower magic penetration from 15 down to 12. Now let's go to the defense department. Dominance Eyes It now has a life drain aura where you just go near an enemy to apply its effect. They also removed the 10% slow effect if you're near a Dominance Eyes user. Queen's Wings It will now give extra spell vamp instead of life steal when its unique passive is in effect. So if your hero uses basic attacks, you should stop using this item. This is now better for skill-based heroes like Lapu Lapu and Lancelot. They also lowered its damage reduction by 10%. Brute Force Breastplate they lower the movement speed bonus of each stack by 1%. All stats remain the same. It's a nerf for brute force breastplate users. Twilight Armor The protection is now easier to trigger. Previously, you need to receive 900 damage before it activates but now it only requires 600 damage. Once it's activated, it will reduce 20% of physical damage taken for 3 seconds. It also deals true damage to nearby enemies. Bleed Armor Reflect damage is now based on the damage taken instead of the opponent's physical attack. It will also slow the attacker by 15% for 1 second. Thunderbelt Higher damage and stronger slow effect for its unique passive. All stats remain the same. Guardian Helmet 
it's now easier to make the heal stronger with assists. And those are the item changes. We also have 3 new items and they are War Axe. You get extra physical attack and penetration for each second that lasts for 3 seconds. It can reach up to 8 stacks. Marksman, Mage, and Supports will only receive half of those stats. Once you reach full stacks, you get plus 20% movement speed. This is good for fighters who can stay longer in the battlefield. Shadow Twin Blades. It's the magic version of the Blade of the Heptasis where you deal extra damage after 5 seconds of not taking any damage. It's good for magic assassins like Karina and Selina. Radiant Armor, a defense item that can remove 4 to 11 magic damage per hit. This is good against multi-damage heroes like Harley's first skill, Chang'e's ultimate, and Goshen's duggers. Part of the update is the new damage calculation, which will make a big impact on penetration items. The negative armor is now passable, which means higher damage for penetration items in the early game. Penetration percentage is now prioritized over fixed value, which means penetration items will now work against heroes with little defense. There's also a new rule where we're only allowed to buy one boots. This is a move to prevent jungle and roaming skills on a single hero. I think this update is a good time to experiment with non-meta heroes. We have a lot of new stuff to play around, so go ahead and try one today. So what can you say about the item changes? Will this update change your build? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching. Those idiots could never predict my moves. <laughs>